everybody, this is Howie, and I just wanted to, oh man, yeah. this is Howie, and I just wanted to give you guys an update on my interviews, I'm just gonna go right straight with it, I did not get those interviews, so, I feel like crap, and I feel rejected, I feel like an idiot, I felt like my all my hopes and dreams had gone down and crashed, um, I did a couple of things, I went and got like a spa day with my friend. We had Manny Petty's done and a massage and I'm gonna go see my family because it was my birthday and I had a good time with my friends. You know, but in the back of my mind, I just remember hearing from the uh, managers saying that I would not move on with the program, but they didn't really say why. Only one manager did tell me that she would like me to reapply in a couple of weeks. Um, because more and more nurses are retiring, so that's good news for us who are new. Um, back in 2007 and 2008, not a lot of nurses were retiring because of the housing bubble, because of the Great Recession. But now, um, nurses are finally starting to retire, so there's more jobs for us new grads. But, you know, it's a little bit harder uh, when I've got my sights set like here, you know, because I want to work at the ICU at a magnet hospital. Um, with a new grad residency program that's at least minimum of six months to one year. I just really want to get in there. And I'm still going through my nurse practitioner classes because I'm in the nurse practitioner program, but I also want to be the top RN. I just want to learn from the best and be with the best. So I think I'm going to have to let that dream go. I'm, I'm, I'm realistic and I feel like I'm a good nurse, but there are still a lot of really good nurses out there and they're all competing for the same job. There's not a lot of ICUs, um, even in a large city such as this one, um, where there's about 25 million, or I think there's about 8 million people here. And um, there's only four major hospitals, and within those major hospitals, there's only one or two different ICUs. So it's really tough competition. Um, one of the things I think that I didn't do well on was that on one of the interviews I didn't complete all my questions. So I was used to thinking I'm getting ready about answering three questions from three different types of interview questions, such as the traditional interview, the behavioral questions, um, on top of the traditional questions, and the scenario questions. But I didn't know that each panel member or each um, question was going to be asked, every single question was asked basically, and I lost a lot of points that way. So, um, Also it didn't help that I didn't have my um, actual RN license. I just got my interim license right now, but it's my own fault for not uh, putting in my process in my packet earlier, so um, now I just recently just got approved to take the test and I made my appointment which is about two weeks from now, and I've been scoring consistently around 60, over 60% on all my practice questions. So I'm pretty comfortable, but you know, I can't leave anything to chance. So I think a lot of that stuff just kind of worked against me. Um, and the fact that, you know, like I'm, I'm charming and a little bit cocky, and that came out as actually pretty good because it showed to the panels that I was enthusiastic, but there were just, two more nurses that were just more competitive than I was, you know, and not maybe not the aspects that I've talked about, but um, maybe it was other things that I don't know about, but either way, they, they were able to beat me out because one of the nurse managers says I was like in the top three, top four out of all the candidates that applied, so it's really tough competition. So even with me with over a decade of experience, but not in nursing, um, I have a decade, like almost two decades of medical experience, I still have a lot to learn. And I still have a lot to do to compete and be more competitive with the people that are going against and with me, you know. But this is good. This means exactly where I want to be. I want to be with people and I want to work with people who are, um, you know, not just at my caliber but above my caliber. Because how am I supposed to learn from other people if I don't learn from the best? So, um, wish me luck. I, I feel like... For the past couple of days, it just felt like crying. I just felt so embarrassed for having to ask my friends um, and my mentors for letters of references all over again. Um, uh, I feel embarrassed and I felt like I disappointed my friends, family, and classmates who were so happy for me and so supportive for my progress and then I just have to tell them that I was 
I got stopped, you know, but I can either be pissed about it and be sad about it and just feel sorry for myself. Um, and I think I have been for the past couple of days and it, and it helps, it really helps. Um, but now I think it's time for me to pick up my feet and start figuring out what I can do to come back as a better candidate so that they won't have a chance to be able to say no to me. So wish me luck. Thanks Carlota for all your encouragement, I really appreciate it. I feel like I'm probably making just this video for you. <laughs> um, it's a busy bee nursing, I know she's very supportive as well and she's busy and um, you know, I really appreciate all the nurses that are out there just making our um, our professional field that much more um, amazing, you know? To be able to know that there are amazing and competitive people out there that makes us all look good and that ensures that there's a high quality of care that maybe in the next decade or so, uh, they're going to find out exactly how amazing nurses are. And they'll tell stories about it. And I can't wait to be part of that movement.